Assamese cuisine, Wikipedia article audio. Ancient. Medieval. Ingredients. Rice. Colonial. Tribes. Dialects. Poitabat Jolpan. Fish. Fish. Mazertenga. Sweets. Meat. Naricolor Laru Tiller Laru. Snacks. Pitha. Greens and vegetables. Sauces. Spices. Bilahir Top. Preparations. Drink. Archives. Car. Genres. Institutions. Awards. Assamese cuisine is the cuisine of Assam. It is a style of cooking that is a confluence of cooking habits of the hills that favor fermentation and drying as forms of preservation and those from the plains that provide fresh vegetables and an abundance of fish and meat. Both are centered on the main ingredient rice. The confluence of varied cultural influences in the Assam Valley has led to the staggering variety and flavors in the Assamese food. It is characterized by the use of an extremely wide variety of plant as well as animal products, owing to their abundance in the region. It is a mixture of indigenous styles with considerable regional variations and some external influences. The cuisine is characterized by very little use of spices, little cooking over fire and strong flavors due mainly to the use of endemic exotic fruits and vegetables that are either fresh, dried or fermented. Fish is widely used, and birds like duck, squab etc. are very popular, which are often paired with a main vegetable or ingredient. Preparations are rarely elaborate. The preferred oil for cooking is the pungent mustard oil. Mazertenga A traditional meal in Assam begins with a car, a class of dishes named after the main ingredient, and ends with a tenga, a sour dish. The food is usually served in bell metal utensils made by an indigenous community called Maria. The belief is that when food and water is served in such utensils it's good for health and boost up immunity. Tamol and Pan generally concludes the meal. Narasingh Mazaryahal Though still obscure, this cuisine has seen wider notice in recent times. The discovery of this cuisine in the popular media continues with the presenters yet to settle on the language and the specific distinctiveness to describe it. Devaka, Kamarupa Rice is the most important ingredient in this cuisine. The large varieties of rice found in the region has led to speculation that the grain was first domesticated in the Assam Yunnan region. Both the Indica as well as the Japonica varieties are grown in Assam. The most popular class of rice is the yoha or scented rice. As a staple, rice is eaten either steam boiled or sun dried. Some very fine quality of rice namely, carabalum or carabatum etc., are available in Assam only. Rice is eaten as snack in many forms, roasted and ground, boiled in its husk and flattened, puffed. A preparation of rice that is pre-cooked, dried, and then husked can be simply soaked in warm water and eaten as a light meal. Ahum Kingdom, Shudiya Kingdom, Kakari Kingdom, Kamada Kingdom, Barobuyan. Rice is a part of all meals in Assam. A traditional breakfast consists of kaira with yogurt and jaggery. Mostly farmers eat cooked rice soaked overnight simply accompanied with salt, mustard oil, onions, etc. Snacks are zendo, kumal sal or borasal, sticky rice, 
which can be eaten with sweet or salty accompaniments. For other major meals, rice could be boiled, steamed or wrapped in leaves and roasted. Sunga sal is a special preparation in which rice is cooked in bamboo hollows called sunga. Suadia bait is another preparation where sticky rice is steamed over boiling water. They are generally served with meat or fish. Sticky rice is also wrapped in leaves, usually plantain leaves or torah pat, and dropped into boiling water to prepare tupula bot. Pura Poitabhat Pitaka Pickle A special class of rice preparations, called pithas are generally made only on special occasions like the bihu. Made usually with soaked and ground glutinous rice, they could be fried in oil with a sesame filling, roasted in young green bamboo over a slow fire or baked and rolled over a hot plate with a filling. Colonial Assam, Assam Province The next most important ingredient is fish, harvested from the many rivers, ponds and lakes in the region. The extremely wet climate and the large numbers of water bodies has ensured that large varieties of freshwater fish are available in abundance in the valley. It is a staple item in the Assamese palate. There is no traditional ethnic community in Assam that does not eat fish. Most traditional rural households have their own ponds for pisciculture. Some of the most popular big fishes are the Borali, Ro, and Seidel, Koria, Maigur, Zingi, Borali, Pokwa or Bahu, Zal, Kol, etc. The small varieties of fish available and eaten in Assam like Puthi, Ari, Gorawi, Koi, or Kawa, Kolahana Borolia, Mua, Senaputhi, Tendra, Lachan, Bangun, Pabho, etc. The discerning gourmet can tell which region of Assam is known for which variety of fish. The Mas Tenga which is commonly eaten by most communities of Assam, has lately turned into a signature dish of Assamese cuisine. The most popular souring agent for the tenga is tomatoes, though ones made with kajanemu juice and thekara are also popular. The most common way of eating fish in traditional Assamese homes is by preparing a stew with herbs, vegetables, and greens as per preference and availability. Fish is also prepared by roasting or char grilling. A favorite is small fish roasted in banana leaves. Hyukatai is a special fish dish prepared from dried small fish like pounded with arum stem and dried and stored in bamboo tubes. Variations of this exist among the ethnic communities of Northeast India in general and Assam in particular. Dried and fermented small fish puthi moss three to four in number, are roasted with lavish amounts of green chilies, tomatoes, ginger, and garlic. The ingredients are then pounded in a mortar to make a coarse paste and served with rice. Fish eggs and innards are also cooked and consumed. Bodos Duras de Masas Carbas Cook Rajbongshis Mysings Rabas Tea Tribes the Assamese meat and fish dishes are characterized by low amount of spices and oil, higher quantity of ginger, norixinghau pot, corissa, and lemon juice, and differ completely in taste from the dishes of neighboring Bengal. Local chicken, venison, squab, mutton, duck and pork is very popular among the indigenous ethnic Assamese communities like Cook, Kyo, Bodo, Rabha, DOM slash Nadahil etc. Indigenous upper caste Assamese Hindus, such as Assamese Brahmins and K. Asthas of Assam, some Kalitas refrain from pork consumption. Beef is occasionally consumed by Assamese Muslims, although they traditionally refrain from consuming pork. The Christians, many ethnic communities, and the non-religious sections consume all types of meat.
The basic cooking methods include cooking, shallow and deep frying. Anla, of the bodos, is made with ground rice and special herbs and constitutes a complete meal in itself. Other meats include squab, duck, chicken, goat meat, venison, and turtle although venison and turtle meat are legally prohibited. The combination of duck slash white gourd and squab slash papaya or banana flour is very popular. Meat is generally stewed using limited spices as well as a choice of herbs and vegetables. Most communities of Assam are entomophagous. Ethnic tribes of certain areas partake of silkworm, water bugs, grass hoppers, and other insects. Insects are fried or cooked or roasted in leaves and then prepared according to the timing of the meal. The red ant egg is considered a delicacy during the Rongali Baihu festival. Chutney and Salad The environs of Assam are rich in vegetation, and green leafy vegetables, called zaik, are an important part of the cuisine. Some of them are grown while others like the tahekia grows wild. There is a bewildering variety that is eaten and according to custom, one has to have 101 different zake during Rongali Baihu. Herbs, greens and vegetables are commonly eaten by simply cooking in water and salt, lightly frying, as a thick soup or by adding to varieties of lentils. They are also prepared in combination with fish, meat, and eggs. Among spices there are ginger, garlic, onion, cumin seed, black cumin, black pepper, chili, turmeric, coriander seed, cinnamon, cardamom, clove, fenugreek seed, white mustard seed, aniseed, malabar leaf, cumin, etc. Some herbs peculiar to Assam are Montahaniya, Moranada, Maduolong, Bede Loda, Manimuni, Mason Dairy etc. An Assamese meal is incomplete without green chilies, many varieties of which are available in the region. Assam is famous for the Budyalokia or ghost pepper which was recognized as the hottest chili in the world. Panch furan is used for adding flavor to dal. Although modern cuisine of Assam has been influenced by East and North Indian cuisine, Assam is still rich in traditional dishes. Boar Pakori Some other preparations The kar is a signature class of preparations made with a key ingredient, also called kar. The traditional ingredient is made by filtering water through the ashes of the sun-dried skin of a few varieties of banana, which is then called kola kar. A traditional meal invariably begins with a kar dish, which can be prepared with raw papaya, mustard leaves, vegetables, pulses, fish or any other main ingredient. Kokoda is a severely bitter type of preparation. It is prepared with dry jute leaf, urad bean, and kar. However, the combination of kar and tenga is not recommended. The liquid kar is also simply eaten as karoli with rice which is prepared by adding a few drops of mustard oil. Assamese people have a peculiar tradition of eating a large variety of bitter dishes, many of which are considered delicacies. Some dishes in this category include, fresh bamboo shoot, cooked or lightly fried, cane shoot, neem leaves fried, taitab hikuri, bitter gourd, sukuta, taita full, sway lai full etc. The mazer tenga is a light and sour fish dish, another signature class of preparations. There are numerous ways of preparing the sour fish curry among Assamese people. The souring ingredient could be mangosteen, lemon, etc., but the most popular is made with tomatoes. Fish dishes made with fermented bamboo shoot are generally sour, but they are not called tenga. 
Fish is fried in mustard oil or stewed with bottle gourd or spinach. Another tenga dish is prepared with matima and outenga. Bottle gourd can be added to it. Tengamora or nol tenga and lentil is a distinct tenga curry. The Narasing Mazaryahal is another authentic dish from Assam. The fishes are cooked in a light gravy of curry leaves, which is a common aromatic herb used in southern and some northern parts of India. The curry leaves are also known as Noroshing Ho Pot in Assamese. The fish preparations in Assam emphasize on retaining the natural flavors of the fishes and hence few spices are used. Pora refers to various forms of grilled and roasted food. Vegetables, meat, and fish are often served in this form. Alu bengena pora pitaka, pora mas pitaka, pora manko etc. are a few of the popular dishes. Beer Poitabhat is a favorite dish in Assam during the summer season. Cooked rice is soaked overnight and left to ferment. It is and served with mustard oil, onion, chili, pickles, pitaka, etc. The poitabhat preparation is sometimes made alcoholic according to preference. Side dishes called pitaka, is a signature characteristic of this cuisine. The most popular is a la pitaka, garnished with raw onions, mustard oil, green chilies, and sometimes boiled eggs. Korisa tenga is mashed fermented bamboo shoot, sometimes pickled in mustard oil and spices. Karoli is fermented mashed mustard seed to which a kar has been added, and katudi to which an acidic agent has been added. Pitaka s are also made from roasted or steamed vegetables. Small fish, Asiatic pennywort, metakajari, tengamora leaves, heart leaf, Doran, etc. are roasted separately wrapped in banana leaves and mashed into pitaka. Pickles are made of mango, Indian gooseberry, hog plum, Indian olive, tamarind, star fruit, mangosteen, radish, carrot, elephant apple, Indian jujube, chili, lime, garlic, etc. Panatenga and Karoli are signature Assamese pickles made from ground mustard seeds. Chutney is made of coriander, spinach, tomato, heart leaf, curry leaf, chili, lentil, chickpea etc. Suken Mazur chutney is popular among the tribal communities. Salad is made of carrot, radish, tomato, cucumber, beetroot, etc. Boar is fried balls of mashed lentil or gram it is equivalent to veda in few other Indian languages. It may contain other green leafy vegetable locally called zake within it, and it is best while served with tidali curry or dip. There is a huge variety of boar preparations in Assamese cuisine. The base ingredients include greens, vegetables, fruits, flowers, skin, and shoots of various plants. Boar can also be prepared from fish eggs etc. Fritter is made of flour and tender leaves of pumpkin, banana, tender leaves of bottle gourd, eggplant, tender leaves of night flowering jasmine, etc. Some other preparations in Assamese cuisine include katudi, panatenga, korikatdaya, tenga sorceria, pasola, etc. Liquor is an integral part of linguistically and culturally diverse communities in Assamese society. Rice is a primary ingredient for the many rice beers and liquors made in Assam by different ethnic communities, Zo, Epong, Mod, Zach, Hor, Fotika, etc. In some places, the Assamese smoke pipe mix includes opium, cannabis, tobacco, betel nut extracts and others. This has got religious fervor amongst the people.
Jolpan in Assamese is what is breakfast although it is not always served as breakfast in Assamese cuisine. They are eaten as light meals between main meals and widely served during Baihu, weddings, Assamese shrad s or any other kind of special occasions and gatherings. Some types of Jolpan are Borasal, Komal Sal, Zando, Kaira, Mori, Akhoi, Sunga Sal, etc. eaten in combination with hot milk, curd, jaggery, yogurt, or seasonal ripe fruits. These are probably some of the earliest forms of cereals. Assamese people have been eating them mainly as breakfast for many centuries. Smoking Snacks and Cakes Pithia is a special class of rice preparation generally made only on occasions like Baihu in Assam. Made usually with soaked and ground rice, they could be fried in oil, roasted over a slow fire or baked and rolled over a hot plate. Some pithas are til pitha, gila pitha, suchula pitha, sunga pitha, bapat daya pitha, lakami pitha, tora pitha, Takili pitha, dexi pitha, muthaya pitha, kolasapori pitha, etc. It is made in other areas such as West Bengal, Maharashtra, Orissa, Delhi, Punjab, etc. Jolpan Larus are sweet balls that are associated with traditional Assamese food, Laskara, Narikala Laru. Tyler Laru are often seen in Assamese cuisine. Pitha Laru Tea Some other snacks Tamal Notes Tea is an indispensable part of Assamese cuisine. It is served in form of black tea, milk tea, spiced tea, green tea, lemon tea etc. Some other snacks include roti, luchi, and gugnai. An Assamese meal is generally concluded with the chewing of tamal. Pieces of betel nut are eaten and eaten in combination with betel leaf, edible lime, and tobacco. It is a routine item after every meal. Golparia, Kamrapai Cherry Upads Kotha Ramayana, the Aranodoi, the Janaki, the Hem Kosh. Poetry, Novels, Folk Literature Assam Sahitya Sava Assam Ratna See also Fish of Assam